finally arrived at Luxel. Couldn't ask for better quarters. Apparently, this place was a spa for King Louis XV. All around us, fruit trees blossom on grassy slopes covered by blue and yellow flowers. In the distance, I can see the snow-capped Vosges Mountains, their flanks bristling with a solid mass of giant pines. It's 5 a.m. and I'm scared as hell. In less than an hour, I'll be flying my first patrol to the front. Just imagining what it'll be like kept me up all night. Now I wish I'd got some sleep. My partner and I took off into a ghostly sunrise. The gnawing in my gut told me we'd soon find the Hun. Sure enough, after a nagging lull, we found a pair of worthy opponents below us. They were close enough to touch. Woke this morning before dawn and gulped down a lukewarm cup of chicory masquerading as coffee. I'm flying wingtip on the mid-morning patrol to Verdun, so I'll have to eat breakfast later. Don't want to go up on a full stomach. One of the first things we learnt at flight school is that gas expands at high altitudes. Don't want to make the war messier than it has to be. The clouds opened up and left us staring into the gun sights of the enemy. One of him and two of us. The odds couldn't have been better.
curse the fucker scourge. These Huns really know what they're doing with their synchronized machine guns. I'm glad we have our Vickers, but we need to start shooting more accurately, or our trigger fingers will soon be little more than mincemeat. Speaking of mincemeat, today should be a good chance to grind up some Eindeckers. Our venerable CO, Colonel Farah, is sending me on patrol with two other pilots. Squaring off for an equal matchup, I took my place as leader of our formation. The boys were depending on me as I steadied my hand to bank left and initiate our peel-off. 